Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to react to the comments made by Tom Brenneman in last night's uh, Reds Royals broadcast. For those who don't know, in game one, Tom Brenneman uh, had uttered a uh, homophobic, homophobic slur. Uh, he continued on with game two, and about halfway through, he ended up being replaced in the booth. Um, there's a lot to unpack with this topic. First off, um, I truly believe Tom Brenneman uh, has made that comment or other comments like that several times because the way he said it with that uh, degree of comfort, this is a language in which he's used to speaking. So I don't believe this is a one-time incident. Um, he is very, unfor unfortunately for him, this is the one time it was caught on camera, but I mean, just the way that he said it, the tone, this is his lingo. This is his, his language. Um, now, for his apology, you know, he he immediately turned to his faith. And, you know, I, I don't like that defense. I really wish guys would own up to it and say, this is a problem. I need to fix it. But he – and then, of course, during his apology, Nick Castellanos did a home run, which – talk about crazy. You know, he just – very ca casually caused the home run, then gets back to the apology. And he's right in one thing. Uh, he probably will not be putting on this headset ever again. Um, I definitely think he should be fired. Uh, as it stands right now, he's been suspended indefinitely. Uh, I would be very disappointed and surprised if he ever broadcast games for, for the Reds ever again. Uh, that's a, a pretty easy solution right there. Now, whether or not he should receive some sort of lifetime ban or not work again, that's tough to say. Um, if he was a younger broadcaster, I would say, you know, maybe there's a chance at, you know, turning around his mind frame. But this guy's been doing this for a long time. He is who he is. And I truly think he's sorry that he just got caught. Um, but kind of circling around to, to um, my other point, I could see a scenario maybe in the future where he gets work, but... As of right now, he definitely should be out for the rest of the year, and I don't want to see him broadcasting the Reds anymore. Um, to be honest, I wasn't really a huge fan of his broadcasting work as, as it is, and this is it. This is the end of the Tom Brennan era in Cincinnati, and to be honest, you know, following in his father's footsteps, his dad's got to be very disappointed. And he basically, I think Tom Brennan was about 57, 58 years old, he had this job for as long as he wanted it, and he blew it. And, and I think he knows that, and I'm, I'm sure he feels bad. But I, I, I don't feel uh, like, you know, I feel like he said he, he said what he meant. That's his mentality, and the guy his age, you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, so to speak. So, yeah, those are some of my thoughts about the Tom Brenneman situation. And I've always wanted the Reds to make national news, but of course, it you know, it takes something like this, which, what a crazy night. And it was especially crazy that he continued on with the second game. I, I was kind of waiting for the other foot to drop, other shoe to drop, and it did when Jim Day took over halfway through the broadcast after his apology. So anyway, I just want to give some of my thoughts about that. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.